cooling tower. When we see a nuclear power plant, we can easily distinguish the cooling tower. Cooling tower is the place the coolant medium of water is cooled down for reusing it in the power plant. In this concrete structure, hot water is allowed to cool down thereby releasing the thermal energy into the environment. The cooling tower can be up to 200 meter tall. There are two types of cooling towers. One is cross flow type and the other is counterflow type. Before moving on to the working of a cooling tower, let us look at the components of a counterflow type cooling tower. A counterflow type of tower has cold water basin, air inlet, fill media, spray nozzles and drift eliminator. Hot water is pumped into spray nozzles. Due to the natural convection, cold air gets drawn from outside through air inlet. The cold air then cools down the water which is stored at the very basement of the tower. Note that during this process about 2% of water evaporates. A cooling tower works on the principle of natural circulation. Due to the difference in density, the warm air rises up and escapes from the opening at the top of the tower. Now, let's understand the components and working of a cross-flow type cooling tower. This type of cooling tower has drift eliminators, distribution system, fill media, and exhaust fan. In case of a cross-flow cooling tower, hot water is sent through a water inlet to the cooling tower. Then, it is distributed on the fill media through water distribution system. The gravity causes the water to cascade down across the fill media. The fill media breaks the water stream into smaller water droplets, creating a large surface area for heat transfer. The exhaust fan installed at the top draws air across the water droplets and cooling by exchange of latent heat results in the form of evaporation of a small amount of water. After passing through the fill media, the water gets collected in the basin. From the basin, it is pumped back to the chiller condenser section by the condenser water pump. Difference between cross-flow type and counter-flow type cooling towers. The discussion will remain incomplete until we discuss about the difference between these two types of cooling tower. In cross-flow type cooling tower, Air flow is directed perpendicular to the water flow, whereas in counterflow type cooling tower, air flow is directly opposite of the water flow. Alright, now that you have understood the working of a cooling tower in nuclear power plants, can you explain it to your friends? Recap In this lesson, you learnt about different types of cooling towers, their components, and the working principle.